Welcome to this continuation of our series on C Sharp Professional. And previous tutorial we defined a connection string and make a you know a scale connection and get the connection string to the connect scale connection and define a query and from a query we go to the scale adapter and put the connection, open the connection here and we just fill the data adapter get data from data page and save it inside the data set and after that we just close the connection but notice that here we just define the connection to be null okay and because we did that uh, we need to you know we need to do some conditions here so we need to because we we deal about getting data here we talk about fill we talk about execution of the SQL here and there's an opportunity or there's an uh, you know uh, there's a possibility that the return of this query or for this adapter will be null and what do we mean by if the return of this will be null we mean that we don't have uh, re retrieve data okay so how we can uh, check whether if 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 uh, if we get data or not get the data is the process succeed or not we need to catch the error here okay so we make a try and catch statement here try and we just surround we just surround the you know the the SQL adapter and the data adapter here we, we just surround it with the try and we need to add a catch statement and just give it an exception and we just want to close this okay and here we just put SQL exception ex and here we just throw an exception okay and here all the time we when we have a connection we need to close the connection okay so we need to try to open the connection okay if the connection is not open we're not gonna close it so if the connection is open we're gonna close it here we need to add a finally so all the time if the process succeed or not we want to go to finally uh, you know here procedure we go finally and what we're gonna go what we're gonna do and finally we're gonna check if the connection is not set okay we're not gonna do anything if the connection is set I mean it's opened we need to close it so just make an F statement an F statement and say connection not equal to no okay if the connection not equal to null we're gonna go inside here so finally we need to close the finally okay and we need to close this also if connection not equal to null we need to close the connection but I need to check that connection is not is equal to null is not the final solution maybe there's okay the connection is not equal to null but the connection is not open so to solve this I just want to put an if statement and I say connection that I have I have connection defined previously connection uh, state there's state and I just want to make sure that connection is open so I just want to put equal equal to uh, connection state the open okay and if this condition is satisfied what I want to use uh, what I want to do here is just close the connection so I close the connection and if you want to make sure that this thing is work correctly you just go here data fill and we just put um, we just want to put message box okay If 
find a message box. Okay, let's see his Windows forms. Save this. Try to refresh it. Rebuild. Okay. So here we got here. Just we want to display the 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 you know the message about the state. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, we can go and try run this later on in the next video because we want to get the connection and we want to return the data set all the time we, we want to return the data set okay and so we want to see that in the next video see you there